Hey, everybody. Yeah. Wow. Two live streams in one day. <laughs> you can tell I'm trying to get some work done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies are kicking my butt today. Um, anyhow, if you couldn't tell by the uh, title of this live stream, I have been putting off doing my um, new required item specifics on eBay. And I keep finding excuses not to do it because, as we all know, if we are eBayers, that it is boring and frustrating and sometimes doesn't make any sense whatsoever what they're requiring from us. So I thought accountability. I need to get it done. And the only way I'm going to force myself to get it done is to do it in a live stream. So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get all of them done. I'm going to try to get all of them done, but I may get really bored really fast. <laughs> so um, I will show you how many that I have. If I can get the right button here. There we go. And I want to do window that right there. All right, and minimize this so I can see my screen as well. But I have 122 to do. So this should be fun. <laughs> Not looking forward to this, but it needs to be done and it's going to be done. So I'm going to get started. I do have part of my screen covered up. So um, I will try to keep an eye on chat and see if anybody comes in. Um, and I'll say hi to you when you say howdy to me. I'm not, I've got it covered up so I can't see when a person comes in but doesn't say anything. So anyhow. Oh, my nose is just itching like crazy. All right. So we're going to go through these just one by one. Add required item specifics. These are new item specifics that eBay in their infinite wisdom uh, just announced oh, a few weeks ago. And I know that I'm pretty lucky. I don't, I don't have a thousand of them to do. But as far as I'm concerned, having one on some of these is too many. So type is required. Figurine, that was an easy one. It is clear. This is a uh, miniature elephant figurine. It is glass. These are not all required here, just that um, type was required soon. You see here it says required soon. But I might as well, while I'm in here, get some of these others entered up to or entered into. I'm going to mark all of those. It's a figurine of an elephant. Everybody's going to like that. Time period manufactured, I don't know, so I'm going to leave that blank. No, 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 no additional parts required. Artist unknown. Hello, Carl. How are you? Did you have a good afternoon since I spoke with you last? I agree, Carl. Um, I do know that, hang on one second. I do know that both Griff and, oh, I can't think of the other guy's name, but the two uh, main people that do the eBay for Business podcast, they both have said, don't fill in things that you don't need to. Just, you know, don't fill in NA if you don't have to. Um to leave things blank unless you absolutely have to put something in there. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Trust me, I don't want to do more work than I need to. Eh? Oh, just a so-so afternoon. I'm sorry. Did you make Paul's live? I listened to Paul's live while I cross-posted a bunch of things to uh, Poshmark, Macari, and Facebook Marketplace. So here we have a Christmas mug. 
brand is Holiday Home. That is correct. It is a mug. Yes, it is. Oh, Philly Flipper. Sorry. Philly Flipper. That's Paul. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's. It, I'm talking about Philly Flipper. He was in my live with you earlier. I went to his live because I continually seem to forget about it because I'm preparing for this live. I have mine about an hour after his ends. And I continually seem to forget about his live, but I made sure to get in there today. Hello, Angie. How are you? Thanks for coming by. I am filling out the dreaded... Um, required item specifics that eBay has added to us. So, I uh, know you didn't miss much. I started about five minutes ago. I am on my third listing, getting it updated. No, you're not interrupting my flow at all. I plan on gabbing in between. No problem at all. If I don't gab in between, it gets kind of boring for both of us or all of us. <laughs> They are impossible. I agree. I don't like this. But, and the thing is, once we get them all done, they're just going to come up with new ones. <laughs> it's going to just keep going. I know it will. But, and I forgot to share my screen again. So you guys can see what I'm a doing. Hang on. There we go. I'll make this a little bit bigger, maybe. If it will let me. A little bit bigger for you. Um, or they disappeared. Yes, like shoe sizes. Thanks a lot, eBay. Enjoyed having to put in shoe sizes all over again. I gripe about eBay, but let me tell you, it's still my number one platform. Hey, Carter. Welcome. I saw you in Philly Flippers live earlier. You. <laughs> I don't have a super chat or a uh, super chat dance or song. So I'm out of luck. Right, Carl Carter? <laughs> but that was hilarious. <laughs> Required item specific number four. What do we have here? Required soon color. Well, it is multicolor. It is ceramic. It is a pitcher. It is FTD. And that's, uh, it's not vintage. So that one's done. I don't even know how you do super chats and stuff like that. So that's kind of, <laughs> I guess, hopefully someday I'll be able to figure that out. But, <laughs> but that was hilarious. You guys just kept sending super chats. So you had to keep playing that, um, that little song. That was funny. Oh, you're going to make me pull this book because I don't know who the author is. I don't think I put it in the description either. Ah. Is that what it is? You have to have a thousand. You have to be uh, monetized. That makes sense. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I think it's a thousand watch hours. I'm not even close. I'm a lot closer to subscri subscribers than I am watch hours, but my subscribers aren't true subscribers because they're back from years ago when I had a totally different thing that I did on, on YouTube. So. 
I think it's a thousand hours. I can't remember for sure. Um, I'm going to skip Mr. Captain Kangaroo because I would have to go pull it. And I don't honestly right now know exactly where it is because I didn't put a location in my custom label. And I always put locations in my custom label. So that will take me a while to find. I will skip it and move on. It would be nice to get super chats. I don't expect to hit that threshold anytime soon, though. Knife. Good enough. You're a Oh, great, Angie. That's fabulous. I look forward to seeing it. Yay, everybody subscribe to Angie. She's getting ready to do her first video. Hey, listen, it was hard as hell for me to do my first video. It was even harder for me to do my first live. But now I just do them. <laughs> well, Carl, if you did them any more than once every six weeks, you wouldn't be able, wouldn't be able to be called Carl the Lazy Reseller, right? <laughs> All right. We have another pitcher or creamer. Milk jug. Neither or or eight, neither of them. All right. It is brown. It is ceramic. It is a pitcher. It is unbranded. And it is vintage. Done. Angie, you just kind of got to learn. You just got to learn by doing. That's how I did it. I made my very first video. Wow, this is going to date me. Hang on a second here. I made my first video. Well, it was long enough ago that it was when you could do video responses to YouTube videos. And I did a, a video response to a fairly popular YouTuber. And for the life of me now, I can't remember his name. And it was just, he had done some sign language and I know a little bit of sign language. So I signed something back to him as a video response, got blasted in the comments because I screwed up one sign, got blasted by, I don't know how many people. And it was a long time before I made another video. And then I got into crafting and I started doing, started watching a lot of craft videos and I thought I could do this, you know, so I can't tell you how many times I recorded the same video over and over and over again, starting over on the craft project every time because I didn't like the way it looked and I didn't understand editing software. And I still really don't understand editing software. That's why I like the lives. I don't have to edit anything. Um, but once you get started, it gets easier every time. Cobalt blue knife set, knife rests. Are they worth anything? Are they ceramic? The feedback. Okay, let me tell you. I'm gonna I'm gonna be brutally honest with you, Angie. The hmm, how do I put this? It can be brutal. It it can be very brutal sometimes. There are some really cruel people that like to hide behind their fake names on YouTube. Um, I will tell you, and this was on a live about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I honestly can't remember now. And I was doing a live like I am tonight. And I feel like it was an organized attack. I lost count of how many people came in, just you know, non-resellers that came in just to comment about my broken tooth. And... It really made me hesitant to do another live. I tried not to lose it on the live, but, you know, I was spending more time sitting here at the computer trying to block them and report them than I was able to do any type of talking to the actual people who were in there to, to talk with me. And I, 
I know it was over 10. It might have been close to 20 different people. Might have been the same person just coming in with different um, YouTube accounts. I don't know. But they were saying the exact same thing. It was it was okay the first couple of them. And then after that, it just it just started bringing me down every time someone would make a comment. And I ended up um, ending the live. I you know tried not to make it look like I was ending the live because of them. But because I didn't want to give him the satisfaction, but it can be tough. You have to steal yourself against that. Okay. Um, you check out buy me a coffee. It's just a link you can put in the description or chat. People spending money to bring. Oh, yeah, I'll check out buy me a coffee. I think I've seen that on a couple of different people's um, lives and and things like that. But I've never checked it out. I will do that. Um. Dark blue, co okay, cobalt blue, and you think they're glass? Hmm. Did you do any searches on eBay to see if there's any comps? Carter, I'm in dead center, the middle of the United States. I am in southern Kansas. You're in Eastern Iowa, Angie. I almost moved to Iowa a lifetime ago. I almost moved to Centerville. Rubbermaid. <laughs> Rubbermaid plant. I liked it up there, but I just kept remember. I keep remembering that every field was full of corn. <laughs> of course, here every field is full of wheat. So, um. The only cobalt blue knife rests that I'm finding are are uh, food dogs, more like chopstick holders than knife rests. Carter, I think it is your first time here, but I have seen you in other lives, so thank you so much for coming in today. Yes, Centerville is by Cedar Rapids. Yep. Yep, we, my husband at the time and I went up there and visited and I fell in love with Centerville, but then he didn't get the transfer. So there went that. <laughs> I am not finding anything about a, a blue knife rest. Sorry. I do want to do something here if I can do it without losing you guys. That is not what I want. Where are we? That is not what I want. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to bring up my YouTube. So that I can mod a couple of you guys. There we go. And then you might hear an echo for just a second before I can get this muted. I think I got it muted in time. All right. So. Let's do this. Angie, I've already got you modded. I couldn't tell when I, when I do this in uh, StreamYard. I can't see who's modded. So. Carter, I've got you modded now. Carl, I've got you modded. I guess that's everybody. I have a bad habit of forgetting to do that. So I wanted to, you guys can feel free to post the links to your YouTubes in my, in my uh, chat. That's fine. I have no problem with that. That's how I get other people in here is by dropping my links in other people's lives. So you guys can do the same. I love the reseller community on YouTube. I really do. Oh, you're you're by Cedar Rapids, so you're you're not too far then. Oh no, wait a minute, no. Centerville is by Des Moines. That's right. Centerville is not far from Des Moines. I was getting the two mixed up. I have been to Cedar Rapids though. Yeah, 
Send whatever links you want. Well, nah, wait a minute. Send whatever reseller links you want. <laughs> I have to be careful. You guys might get me in trouble with YouTube. <laughs> All links are welcome as long as they're not adult in nature. <laughs> if, I if I remember correctly, no, it's Car Carter. You're in you're in um, Canada, right? I can't remember where you are, where you are, Carl. Carl must be working on something. He's like me. We go into lives and we start working, you know, listing or cleaning something or photographing something. And we're not always right there in the chat, which is fine. Candle in, whoops, let's type this better. Candle in the wind. Oh my God, can't type. All right. Mint, 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 mint. Okay, well, see, that's why I was getting confused. I, I was thinking that you were in Canada, but then I thought Carl was in Canada, and I was like, am I switching the two of you? Okay, you're both in Canada. Ontario. I have been to Toronto. <laughs> so I have been to Ontario. Oh, I keep forgetting to put my other screen up while I'm working here. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. So you can see what I'm doing. Required soon. Well, that's not going to work. I have to add a custom value. Sorry. Sorry, Griff. I have to. All right. Um, not required. Not required. Not required. There we go. Carter, you need to get on the channel bandwagon. Start making videos. <laughs> Just kidding. You do you. The key, though, if you're going to start doing videos and you are a reseller, is time management. Um, that's why I do mainly lives right now is because editing videos takes a lot of time out of my day and therefore takes a lot of time away from actually listing items, getting things out there to make the money. So I do lives a lot because, like I said, no editing. What can I say? I, yeah, you know, it was taking too much time. So if I do a recorded video now, I usually do it as a one shot just sitting here in front of my computer. I would love to have a GoPro and do videos of garage sales and thrift stores and things like that, but it's not in the financial cards at the moment. Someday maybe, but then I'd have to go in and do a lot of editing again. So, yeah, you got to weigh all those things. All right. Oh, I didn't realize I had so many knives listed. That's exactly it. Your time management. It's important. Trust me. I actually, I'm terrible with time management. I always have been. Um, I was the kid that waited until the night before to start a project that was supposed to take four weeks to work on. You know, and then I'd be up until 2, 33, 4 in the morning. <laughs> so... <laughs> That was me in high school, and that's still me now, unfortunately. Hang on one second, guys. Uh, 
sorry, allergies. Figured you didn't need to see me blowing my nose. <laughs> All right, knife. Brand Tremontina. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right, got that one done. We're getting there, guys. But... Oh boy, I hope I don't need a measurement that I don't have on this one because this is this item is currently in my antique booth and they are closed until Tuesday. Item height. Arg. All right. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna have to look at my listing. Because I'm sure I put it in here. No, this is not what I want. This is not what I want. Cancel. Cancel. Stop telling me that. I want to look at the actual listing. Yeah, I wouldn't have any idea how, how to work a GoPro either. I definitely have to learn. All right. Somewhere down here, I know that I have. This is Captain Kangaroo. This is not the one I wanted to open. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You know what's funny is that I'm the only one in my family that's a procrastinator. Everyone else just gets stuff done. Uh, technically, a t-shirt from 2000 is vintage now. Um, they consider anything over 20 years old as vintage. However, that being said... If you're selling to a t-shirt person, you know, someone who collects t-shirts, they're going to think a vintage t-shirt is a single stitch t-shirt, meaning only one stitch around the arms and the collar, not a double stitch. But technically, yes, it's vintage. Anything I list that's over 20 years old, I list as vintage. So take that however you want to take that. Yeah, I figured it probably was double stitch because it's going to be... At least 30 years old, probably, if it's going to be single stitch. But technically, people think anything over 20 years old is vintage. So what you, if you're going to list it, I would list it. If you want to list it as vintage, go ahead. But make sure you put in there that it's double stitch. Don't, you know, that way there's no confusion. You don't get a return. And I always try to take a picture. If it's a single stitch shirt, especially, I'll take a picture of the stitching. All right, it is 15 inches. Okay, let's see if I can get this done. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, it is technically vintage. I just know that a lot of the t-shirt collectors just want single stitch. So, you know, you're not wrong by listing it as vintage. You're not. Carter, you and I need to form an alliance where we stop each other from being procrastinators. It's, it's, see, this is what I love about these item specifics. Now, these aren't required, so it's not a big deal. But it's, for some reason, it seems to think this is a canister. It's not a canister. It's a platter or dish. I, I have yet to find a single stitch shirt, quite honestly. They're very hard to find around here. I... For a, such a small town as I live in, it's amazing to me how many resellers we have and how many of them are clothing resellers. So I very rarely get a hold of something that is single stitch. I put that in there. Why? Why you not take? Ugh. <sighs> 
See, okay, finally took it. That took two tries to get that one done. Okay. Multicolor. Mug. Mug. Okay. Mug again. Ceramic and porcelain. Original. 1999. Personalized. Well, that's a question for you. I'm going to leave that one blank because it's not required. All right. Angie looks like, unless, unless, um, StreamYard is being silly again. It looks like Angie's about the only one in here right now. Unless, are, Carter, are you still here? <laughs> I was told not to look at the um, viewer count on StreamYard because it's often wrong, so... I'm not going to look. This is not antique. Come on. Tupperware. Gold. Nope. Yes. Original, yes. Well, it sounds, looks to me like it might just be Angie. <laughs> you have any other questions, Angie? I'd be more than happy to answer them. I can't tell you that I'm going to be 100% correct, okay? Local Goodwill has $2 t-shirts. Yeah, we have $2 t-shirts at our Goodwill till, too, but unfortunately, it seems like I always get there right after the clothing resellers have hit the place up <laughs> oh, here's our book title that's missing because I know I put that in when I did the listing but you know they took it out for some reason That's fine. Enjoy spending time with your daughter. Thanks for stopping in, Angie. I appreciate it. You have a great evening. Oh, I appreciate that, honey. You have a good time with your kid. <laughs> Thanks. And then it didn't take. That's great. We'll try this again. Uh, yeah, Angie, I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep ignoring you. I keep looking away and then I see you've, you've sent something again. Um, I go live pretty much every Saturday at 7 o'clock Central and sometimes on Mondays at 7 o'clock Central, but not every Monday. Okay. Oh, thank you, Angie. That makes me feel good. I enjoy you stopping by. You've been a bright spot in my evening. Oh, we're almost down under 100, so we're making some progress. That will make me happy to get it done. Porcelain.
Uh, yeah, honestly, I probably will go live Monday. I just can't guarantee it. Um, I'm going back to work full time, so I never know when they're going to call me last minute, but I should be off on Monday. Um, but I usually, if I am going to do a live, unless it's a spur of the moment type of thing, I will send out a notification to my subscribers. So make sure you click that bell icon and you'll be told when I'm going to go live next. Not sure why it didn't take that. Okay. There we go. Try it again. Add that in there. Oh, thank you. You too, Angie. And I look forward to seeing your first video. Goodness, it's not wanting to take my information. All right, one hundred and two left to go. means I've already done over 20. Hey, we're doing all right. Book title, The Secrets of Speculation. Add custom value. Business, adults, nonfiction, save. I think what I'm going to do, just to break up the monotony for myself and for anyone who happens to be watching this, I'm going to go down to 90, so I have 11 to go. I'm going to go down to 90, and then I'm going to list something, because I need to get a few things listed, too. And the title of this book is How to Scheme Your Way to Profit. <laughs> Gotta love mid-century books. And now we have pineapple salt and pepper shakers. I think these are cute and I can't believe they haven't sold yet. Unbranded. We'll go with multicolor. Components include um, a salt and pepper shaker. That's what the components are. Nope, gonna leave it alone. It is not a required. Material ceramic. Number of items in the set, two. Original. Includes pepper shaker and salt shaker. That's what a salt and pepper shaker set is. <laughs> All right. That is done. Oh, and we've got another one of those books. 
This is a four book set that I'm selling separately. I just think they're cool. Secrets of Banking and Borrowing. That is the title of this one. Mr. Sidney Walton wrote all of these books. Adults, nonfiction. Nonfiction, there we go. Save. Veggie Tales lunch bag, or Bible bag. Sorry, it's not a lunch box. It's a Bible bag. It could be a lunch box. Hmm. I'm going to add a custom value. Sorry, Griff. All right. That was easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And then we've got ourselves a cute little country mouse from Home Co. And my phone's going off. Let me check that real quick. Okay. Wow, YouTube, you send me a reminder that I'm live. <laughs> I kind of know I'm live, but that's okay. Figurine, home co, multicolor. No, not clear. I didn't even. Multicolor isn't even close to clear on this. How did it mark clear? Well, hello, Celestine. How are you? I've just decided, I've already done 20 some of these, that I'm going to go down to where I have 95 left, or did I say nine, no, 90, 90 left, and then I'm going to list something, and then I'll go back to doing some more of these, because they're boring. Yes, you are late. Shame on you. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. Uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. eBay has screwed up a lot of sellers' lives, though, the last couple of weeks with these new required item specifics, and I've been putting them off, so I decided I'd better get them done. And I figured if I say that I'm going to do them in a live, I'll do them. If I don't say I do them, I'll do them in a live, I won't do them. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Outside of what I've been doing today, because I went live this afternoon, too. <laughs> um, I've been working a lot. I've been working a lot. So I've been, I'm going to enjoy the next three days because I won't be working. Well, it's not really making us change things. It's adding things that we have to have in our listings. So like this one here, this is a deviled egg platter. I mean, it's just a ceramic deviled egg platter. But it's requiring that I get the color in there and that it's ceramic. It is not porcelain. It is ceramic. So I have to add that in there. I have to add, add, add that it's an egg platter, even though it says in the listing it's an egg platter. So I got to get that done. And I make sure the brand is in there, which honestly the brand should have been in there before. It's, it's not that they're wrong so much as they're having us add things that really are already in there. If they, They're saying this is to help in the search engines, but the words are already in the listings. So I don't know. It's fine. It is what it is.
It's just time consuming. Quite honestly, that's what it all boils down to. It is time consuming. I am lucky I don't have thousands of them like some YouTubers do. Or, sorry, eBayers do. Like, I was in uh, Philly Flippers live earlier, and he said he has over, I think he said he has over 5,500 listings. I can only imagine what his um, required, soon to be required uh, specifications are. I mean, I had 120 some to begin with, but, and I only have 750 listings. So if he's got, you know, eight times that, I, I hate to think how many he's got. Of course, maybe he's better than I am and he had everything listed ahead of time. I don't know. That is not what I pushed. Oh, now you got to reload the page because I screwed up and hit the wrong button. There we go. Add required soon. It's going to want to know if it's hot and cold or hot beverages only or cold beverages only. It's a mug. What do you think it's for? Yep. Hot or cold. There we go. It is a mug. Coffee mug. Multicolor. Mug. Ceramic. Original. Personalized, no. Vintage, yes. <laughs> we are at 94, so four more to go. Oh, no. Nope. Something didn't take because it's not clearing it off my screen. Let's go back in here. What didn't take? Multicolor. Okay. Type that in again. There we go. All categories, Celestine. But one of the big deals, and luckily I don't sell that many shoes, but for these shoe resellers, um, like um, Carrie Tornado, he sells a lot of shoes. All shoe sizes went bye-bye. So now we have to re-enter all of our shoe sizes again. Now, I only have a handful of, of shoes, so it's not a big deal for me, but somebody like Harry Tornado or Rally Roots that do a lot of shoes... Yeah, <laughs> I would not be happy. Some little button they pushed at eBay headquarters deleted all the shoe sizes. It's like, why? Why you do this? This is a demi toss cup, but I bet they're not going to have demi toss cup on here. No, they're not. But it's not a coffee cup. And I don't have a saucer, so it's not a cup and saucer. It's not a Moscow Mule mug either. All right, I'm going to enter my own. Demi toss cup. Beverage type hot on this one. And porcelain. That is porcelain. It is original. So I click original and it types in license reproduction. No. It is an original. <gasps> Frustrating. Vintage, yes. Probably antique, but I can't prove it. So we will go with vintage. Oh, hang on one sec. Well, actually, I think I only have two to go. So... Hold that thought. Okay, you grab your charger, and when you come back, I have something to show you. Stop bringing up pages I'm not meaning to bring up. All right, we are at 92. So two more to go, and then I will list something, and I'll have to figure out what I'm going to list. If Paul was in here, I would make 
I would make a point of listing a doll because he does not like dolls. <laughs> and I love messing with Paul. He is fun to mess with. You know, if it wasn't for copyright strikes, I'd have music going on. I usually have something going on while I'm listing. Kind of quiet on my side of it. <laughs> I feel like I'm just talking to myself. Oh, wait, I probably am. <laughs> All right. Cottage tea light holder. Okay. And of course, tea light holder isn't on here. So, what do I want to put on here? Mm. <sighs> tea light. Older. That'll work. Department. Adults. Color. Multicolor. Material. Ceramic. Theme. Hmm. There is no theme that's fitting this. Seasonal. That'll work. Are you back yet, Celestine? Because we are at 90. Woo! Almost 30 done. Almost a quarter of them done, but I still have quite a few left. <laughs> All right. I'm going to... Ooh, almost hit the wrong button there. There we go. Bring this back up. And try to figure out what I'm going to list next. Seems kind of silly, but I think I'm going to list this next. Because it's right here. And I don't have to go anywhere for it. So, I am going to do a Christmas stocking. I'm going to list a Christmas stocking that I got at a garage sale last weekend. And it's cute. I mean, it's cute. Come on. It's got Santa and Frosty and buttons and appliques and just, it's cute. It's not handmade that I, I don't believe it's handmade. No, it's got a tag in it. But somebody's going to like it. And seeing as I paid 25 cents for it, I think I did all right. <laughs> so let's just get an idea of what they go for. Christmas stocking quilted. All right, and then we will go. How many are there? Just out of curiosity, three thousand six hundred and fifty-seven for sale. All right, so come down here to solds. Probably won't be a whole ton sold. Nope, two hundred and one. Just because it's the time of year. I don't. All right. Since I'm waiting on Celestine, I am going to look this up with Google Lens. And see if I get lucky and something pops up immediately telling me who the maker is on this. New. 
I didn't figure. <laughs> I had to try, though. I had to try. All right. Double check inside. I found that one tag, but it didn't have anything on it other than made in China. And I don't see any other tags. What is that? Oh, okay. It's got a little bit of cardboard in there. Oh, I didn't sell anything. This is just what I'm going to list since I got to the 90, 90, 90 um, item specifics left. I decided I'd list something just to change things up. I didn't sell it. And, well, I, I've sold a couple of tiny little things. But what I wanted to show you, Celestine, is look what came in the mail today. My moon pies. And yes, I've already had one. <laughs> My very first moon pie. I had never had one before. It was very good. Now I want to try all the flavors. <laughs> so if Johnny happens to see this, thank you, Johnny, for the moon pies. Oh, I are yummy. Let's see here. That looks similar. And they, three, or, yeah, three similar to this. Sold for $27, so $9 a piece. That's about what I was thinking. And somebody's messaging me on Messenger. Sorry about that. One moment. Oh, a friend sending me a funny. <laughs> okay, sorry. So anyhow, very similar stocking sold for... $9 a piece. So that's about what I was thinking. But like I said, I spent, oops, I spent 25 cents for it. So I think it's all right. Seriously, they drew, they drop moon pies instead of, oh my God. So I'm assuming Alabama is where they're made. I never looked. Okay, my friend's going to have to stop messaging me. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> nope, they're made in Tennessee. Okay, well, so much for me thinking that. Well, I assumed it was a giant one. <laughs> That's funny, though. Oh, no, somebody else sending me a message. Oh, it's a possible sale. Hang on a second here. Yep, somebody wants to buy a DVD I just listed. Oh, cool. I just cross-posted those DVDs to Facebook Marketplace about an hour ago. Oh, no, a little bit longer now, about an hour and a half ago. And somebody already wants to buy it, so all that works. Movie night for you. What are you going to be watching? Okay, I'm going to have to deal with this person. I apologize. This person saw my listing on Facebook for this DVD, but says she doesn't have a Facebook and wants to mail me a check. No, I don't do that. Talk, talking about customer. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, I don't know about movie night. It's a bunch of Paula Dean cooking show episodes.
I'm very confused with this person. I want to give her the benefit of the doubt that she's not trying to scam me, but you can't tell me you don't have Facebook if you saw the ad on Facebook. <laughs> so we'll see if she replies. Or maybe she's already blocked me because my last message didn't go through. I guess she realized I wasn't going to fall for her scam. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I only just listed it, so I'm not too worried about it. All right. Quilted farmhouse country chic. Christmas stocking with Santa and snowman. Or my internet's being funky again. Am I still there? Can you still hear me and see me? I'm tired of my internet acting up. Let's see what is today, the 29th, so 22nd would have been when I bought this. Okay, cool. And I will be listing this under holiday. Condition used, but no condition issues. Yeah, I think she blocked me. I'm not worried about it. If she messages me again, we'll deal with it then. All right. Brand unbranded. Type Christmas stocking. Number of items, one. Year manufactured, I do not know. Set includes Christmas stocking. That's what I'm selling. Multicolor. Adults and kids. Nope, not going to let me do that. All right, I'll just do kids then. China, holiday, fabric, no condition issues, measures. Measures, how long are you? 16 inches. There we go. Buy it now price $9.99. And it can definitely go first class. It hardly weighs a thing. It weighs two ounces, so no problem. Change that to first class. Promote at 3%. Save as draft. Now you're going to get a glare for a little bit. Sorry. And I've got to turn on my light box. So let me get these pictures taken really fast. Oh my God. During my live this afternoon, I photographed a doll that had feathers and now... Feathers are still floating around. Very confused by it. Or very aggravated by it. Sorry. Very confused by that lady wanting my DVDs. All right. There we go. What's weight limit for first class? Well, that is a very good question because there's two answers. 
if you are not buying or if you are purchasing your labels from the post office, oh, now I'm going to question myself. I believe it's 13 ounces. Anything more than 13 ounces has to go priority. However, if you buy your labels through eBay, anything under 16 ounces, so it can be 15.99 ounces and you can still send it first class. So they've worked out some deal with the USPS. So another reason to use eBay labels when you sell something, not to mention the savings you have because they save you quite a bit. Yeah, my internet is being funky. I can tell because I can't get, I'm going to restart my phone. I can't get the eBay app to come up on my phone. So, gosh darn it. I can't believe I've already been live for an hour. Surprised Paul didn't show up. <laughs> Although he was in my live earlier. Come on, phone. So, yeah, anything under a pound, if you're going through eBay, can go first class. Um, but anything 16 ounces exactly or above has to be priority. I'm pretty sure it's 13 ounces if you are buying directly at the, at the post office. But it's been so long since I've bought postage directly at the post office, I can't say for sure. Okay, let's see if my computer, if my phone wants to cooperate this time. Oh, maybe, maybe not. All right, let's see if we can get the eBay app to come up this time. Yes, all right. It had a little glitch. Get these loaded on here, and then I'll finish the listing. What's your weather like, Celestine? We finally got a break in the rain here. It's been raining almost continuously for two weeks. Not a lot of rain at once, but just drizzly, gross, messy and today was sunny, and I enjoyed myself. Wow, I just noticed how bad my connection seems to be. If we get disconnected, I apologize. But I see, I mean, I am literally, my computer is literally six inches from the router. And I see that I have like one bar. <sighs> I pay too much for my internet for it to be this poor. 75 at 8 o'clock? Yeah, that's a lot warmer than it is here. I'm actually a little bit chilly right now in the short sleeves. So I don't know what it is. Let me see. 66 degrees right now. No, that was at 547. Hang on. It is now, wow, slow computer. 61. No wonder I'm a little chilly. Okay. Finally got them to load. Maybe. It is fuzzy. Gosh, dang it. That is frustrating. I mean, here, I will show you. Literally. There's my router. Right there. I'd hook it in hardwire, but I have a Chromebook, so I can't. That is frustrating. Bummer. Not sure what to do about it. 
I don't really want to stop the stream and start it back up, especially since it looks like you're the only one in here right now, Celestine. Um, hang on. Let me turn off my Wi-Fi on my phone and see if that helps at all. Didn't seem to. Bother. Well, let me finish this listing. And we'll go from there. All right. So there's my photos. I want to up the contrast a bit. Not that much. There we go. That looks better. All right. I don't understand the internet in this house. I mean, I do, but I don't like it. <laughs> I wish I could have Cox. I really do. I liked Cox when I had them before. But not at this house. All right. So that is listed. And actually, I want to go to my listings because I forgot to put the location of where. Oh, nope. It's Christmas. I don't need to. I have a specific shelf for Christmas items. So let me go put this up real quick. Okie dokie. Gag and nabs it. <laughs> this is really frustrating me about the internet. Oh, is it better now? Because now I've got two bars. And now I have zero bars. <sighs> I'm very frustrated at the moment. All right. Item specifics. Still at two bars. Now, now zero bars. Mm, I think if it if it's not showing any bars, I think that means it's good on this on uh, StreamYard. So I'm just gonna keep going. Tell me if it gets terrible. So, I clicked on the wrong thing again because I was not paying attention. But, yeah, it's an important part of business. And I pay $70 a month for this. I'd kind of like it have it actually work. That would be lovely. I can hear Paul laughing and making comments about my Kansas internet, even though he's not in here. <laughs> Okay, I'm not even, I can't make my computer do anything. Come on. There we go. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go to 830. That's an hour and a half. And I think I will call it at 830. Unless things start improving or unless some more people come in. No offense to you, Celestine, but, you know, I'm used to having a few more people in here. Shouldn't have gone live this afternoon, I guess. <laughs> I wore out my welcome. <laughs> Although I know my topic on this one was not all that fun. Nobody likes item specifics. And it didn't take my listing. Okay, try it again. I mean, if I can get down to 75, I mean, that's that's quite a few I got done. So, And I don't have to have them done immediately. I just didn't want to keep putting them off. And I can keep working once I'm not doing the live, too. <laughs> no, I agree. I know it's a holiday weekend. It's all good. I really, it, it is. It doesn't really bother me. I just was surprised. But yeah, you're right. Holiday weekend. Holiday weekend where I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and list. Well, and clean house. Item width, 
four inch diameter. Antique, no. Vintage, yes. <laughs> Color, brown. Custom bundle, no. No lid. Don't ask me about a lid. Vintage, yes. Picture. Nope, no picture. Hmm, that makes me think I've got it listed in the wrong category. I do. It changed my category on me. I heard of people saying that it was doing that. Because I know I didn't list it as a canister and jar when it's a pitcher. So now I will have to go back into the actual listing and fix that. Goodness gracious. It is not a canister or jar. It is a pitcher. That'll work. Now I wonder what type of new item specifications it will ask me. Object type. Picture. No picture. Really? You got to give me the option of a picture. Really? And this is where it gets frustrating. Okay, carafe picture. Unbranded. Now I gotta redo all these. Brown. Vintage original. Okay. Are we satisfied yet? <laughs> all right. Let's see what comes up next. Wait a minute. I just noticed something. Oh, okay. I thought it was telling me I had 661 listings without best offer and I was about to have a fit. <laughs> but it says I have 60 or 661 with best offer. That sounds better. Uh, seriously? Now I have to go back into... Okay, eBay. <laughs> okay. It's not a required... It's telling me I have a required to enter, but all of them are filled in. <sighs> Why? Okay, finally took it. Still running the sale until midnight local time on Monday night. Sales have been pretty stagnant, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Hence the working a lot of hours. Frame color brown, really. Shape, really. Rectangle. <laughs> Original type. What type should I put in here? It is not a mirror. Why? There's another one that they have listed now in mirrors, and it's definitely not a mirror. Okay. I'm going to start ranting and raving in a minute here. This is really frustrating because I never would have listed this as a mirror. 
never would have listed this as a mirror, but they have it listed as a mirror now. Okay. I'm going to have to find... Oh, that is frustrating. Okay, fine. I'll go back here. <laughs> I think it's a good thing that I'm going to end this live at 830. Because <laughs> I'm getting very upset. How? What are they thinking? I don't understand. <sighs> Come on. Um, yes, there is a monthly fee for stores. Um, you can you can just not have a store. My screen is frozen up now, so I hope I'm still here. Um, oh my God, computer or internet, whatever it is. Okay, I'm um, sorry. You know what? I'm I'm just I'm 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 over eBay for a moment. I need to just let it go. Let it go. Okay. Uh yes. You there are different levels of store that you can purchase a monthly subscription for. Um you can spend as little as $5.99, which is the base, no, the starter store. You can go to Fort. $14.99. Don't quote me on these numbers. I think it's $14.99, which is a basic store. A premium store is $49.99, $44.99, somewhere like that. And on and on and on. And you, you can spend hundreds of dollars a month on a store, depending on what level you want. Um, the good news is that eBay recently upped the levels as far as like, hmm, and again, don't quote me on the exact numbers. The basic store, I believe, was 250 listings a month you could have for the $14.99. And a premium store was 1,000 listings for $44, $49.99, whatever it was. And then they changed it so now the basic store has a limit of 1,000 instead of the 250. So guess who decreased her store level? <laughs> because I, I never go over a thousand listings a month. So I have a basic store where I had a premium store before. So yeah, there's your answer. But you can have, you can sell on eBay, as you know, without buying a store. There's really not a whole heck of a lot of benefits to it to having the store, but you are limited to, I think, 50 listings. It might be 100 now um, without a store. Okay, this is what I was looking for. I want to see why it shows that I have this in mirrors because it shouldn't be. Yep, yeah, it is listed under Antiques Furniture Mirrors. I never would have done that. I never would have done that. Uh, no wonder I don't get very many views on this. That is frustrating. That is definitely not a mirror. Do you see any reflective material on that? <laughs> okay. country no all righty really Ay. okay americana i uh, no just american not americana American. Okay, that'll work. Wood. Age unknown. 
color, multicolor, United States, wood, again. That's frustrating. Okay, well, it's fixed now. <laughs> I Now it's making me want to go through and check every one of my listings, and I probably should. But that is for another day. But that's two in a row that were listed incorrectly. That is frustrating. That is frustrating. Well, we're at 87. Wow. I didn't make much headway in those last 15, 20 minutes. <sighs> wow. Wow. That is extremely frustrating. Now I'm I'm scared. Is this going to be a mug? It should be a mug. Is it going to say it's a mug? <laughs> no, it's under canister and jars. Seriously. It says right there, canisters and jars. Wow. I should have been paying closer attention to the first 40 that I did or 30 that I did. I hope not all of them were like that. That is really frustrating. <laughs> Maybe this is a known issue, but it's new to me. I didn't realize this was happening. What is it called? Opal House. Okay. I'm so frustrated. I can't type. I mean, this is frustrating because if people are searching for mugs, they're not going to be looking under canisters. And it could be why my uh, sales have dropped. And that frustrates me. No, I do not. I am off for the next three days. Well, today, tomorrow, and Monday. Unless I get called in because someone didn't show up, which happens. But I'm going to try not to work. Oh, that is so frustrating. All right. Update listing. Wow. Wow. I may have to do a video on this. This is frustrating. I mean, you know, recorded video. Although I might just start a rant and a rave. Because this could very well be why my listings have dropped off or my sales have dropped off. And that, that sorry, but that pisses me off. <laughs> that really pisses me off. Okay. It's just like eBay. Whoa, I'm, I'm going to start ranting. Reel it in, Gina. Just like eBay um, dinged me for a late shipment last week when it was not a late shipment. The shipment got canceled. The order was canceled. And there's another one that's listed as canisters and jars. Oh, my God. Uh, anyhow, they, they dinged me for a late shipment when there was nothing to ship. And I messaged them. They're like, oh, yeah, well, that'll drop off in August. So don't worry about it. Nothing we can do. But I didn't have a late shipment. <laughs> so I have to wait till August before I get my perfect 100% on-time shipment numbers back when it wasn't my fault. Well, I've already changed that one, so it'll show up now. That's why I'm not going to search for it. But, uh, yeah, this. Wow. This is really frustrating me. And this is going to be the last one I do tonight because I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm tired of it. Yeah. 
if all of my, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to look after I get done here, but if all of my listings are showing under canisters, I'm going to come unglued. <laughs> I'm going to come unglued. Because I really don't want to have to edit 800 or 750 listings. But anyhow, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. That's fabulous. All right, I have to check one more. Cameron, I am mad. You came in just at the right time to get me fired up again. I am trying to work on my um, new items, required item specifics. Hang on one second. <laughs> I'm so frustrated right now. I am working on my new required item specifics. Didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. I only had like 126 of them. But the last four now, is that right, Celestine? The last four listings, and I didn't wasn't even looking that close at the other 20 that I've already done, 25 that I've already done. So now I feel like I have to go back and check them. But the last four, no matter what I was selling, whether it was a mug, a candy dish, a um, decoupaged horse print, were all listed under canisters. I know I didn't do that. And it makes me wonder if that's not why my sales have dropped off so dramatically. So I'm a little frustrated at the moment. You you walked in on it. You walked in on a in a horn you walked into a hornet's nest right now, Cameron. <laughs> now this last one I just looked up. It seems to be right. So hopefully that means that it's not all of my listings, but it's frustrating because I know I didn't set those listings up that way. I know I didn't. And they're not listings that I listed back to back. You know, it's not like I did one day where I just forgot to put in any type of, um, you know, what's the word? I'm so frustrated. And yeah, I know that I didn't do this. <laughs> I'm really all right. I'm just, I'm, if, if it had just been one, I was cool with that because I'm not perfect. I know I make mistakes, but four in a row, four in a row on items, on required item specifics, which doesn't mean that it was four listings that I did in a row, just four that pinged item listing issues. <sighs> well, I hope that's what why my sales are down too, although they've been dramatically down for a month. Dramatically. Like half. My sales have been about half normal for the past four weeks. So. But now I really feel like I need to go through my 750 some odd listings and check every single one for category. I don't want to do that. But I feel like I kind of have to. <sighs> okay. Oh. oh, maybe I need to have a strawberry moon pie. <laughs> I won't. I don't like to eat on camera. <laughs> but I'm going to have one of those in a little bit. <laughs> That's just frustrating. I feel better knowing that this latest one that I just brought up is actually correct. It is in the correct category. It is under ornaments. So I'm happy about that. But yeah. So I got that one done. That was an easy one. You're walking the dog. So just listening. Oh, so I can eat in front of Celestine, but not you. <laughs> I'm not going to eat. 
I will wait and savor the moon pie. All right, here's a mug. I wonder what the mug's going to be listed under. The mug is listed under mugs. Okay, maybe I just had a bad batch there. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. A little bit better now. Type. Well, I don't know. It's a mug. Let me see. I think I'll put it under mug. How many times you got to type in mug? It's a mug. <laughs> There's mug again. Ceramic. Original. Vintage. All right. Cameron, when are we going to get to see that dog? Or maybe I've just missed you having your dog on your on your videos. And what kind of a dog is he? And give him scritches between the ears for me. I know I'm making you type while you're walking your dog. Sorry. <laughs> you don't have to. Um... Oh, wait, I've seen, I think I've seen your dog. I think. I can't remember. She's a mutt. I think I've seen your dog on your videos. Fourteen and a half. Your dog's older than mine. I thought mine was old. Mine's. Okay, I admit, I can't remember if he's turning 12 in July or turning 13 in July. But he's up there. Original mug set. Yeah, well, so is mine. He's spoiled rotten. But they're fun to spoil. I don't know what I'd do without mine. He keeps me sane. What is going on with this thing? There we go. He keeps me sane. What's her name? I know I keep making you type and walk. Don't trip over the curb. All right, this one's listed as a mug, too. Thank God. I feel better now. And I'm, I know I've gone over 830, but I'm feeling a little rejuvenated now that I'm realizing not every one of my listings is messed up. So if I did make those mistakes on those four listings, which is possible, I guess at least doing the required item specifics has caught those mistakes for me. Allie, oh, oh, nice. Today was a beautiful day here, too. I actually went and, and sat with the ducks earlier myself. Ducks and geese. And this is under the wrong. <sighs> oh, <laughs> very jealous of you, Cameron. <laughs> this is under this one's under the wrong uh category too very jealous of you cameron okay let's fix this okay Required soon. Color. Multicolor. Material. Porcelain. Type. Required soon. Well, I doubt you're going to have nappy on here, and you don't have nappy on here, so we will go with serving tray. Even though it's not technically a serving tray. It is a nappy. 
Vintage, yes. Unfortunately, I live in the wonderful state of Kansas. Not legal. Not even medical is legal here yet. It is frustrating. Because even if it was medical, if they pass medical, I qualify. But not so much. Yeah, whoa. We are probably going to be the last state in the whole freaking country to pass medical. But it is what it is. Why are you making me add required when I just added the required? Everything is filled in. Okay, I'll save you again. See what happens. Right, Celestine, I know. I know. I, they're actually discussing medical at the State House right now. They're discussing it, but <laughs> I think it's, yeah, every state surrounding Kansas has passed medical. But. Love that advice, Cameron. Love that advice. You are a lucky dog. I have to admit my physician has actually said the same thing from me, but until it becomes legal, I can't do anything because I work in a field that random drug tests constantly. So, yeah. Kids, girls, boys. Material, ceramic. I did not click bone china. What is going on with this thing? Ceramic. Thank you. No, not both. Wow. Come on, eBay. <laughs> Get your stuff together. Yeah, I can imagine it does. I have to take over-the-counter sleeping pills for that. But I do remember the days when, yes, that, that helped a lot. All right, what do we have here? Is it listed under mug? It is listed under mug. Thank God for small favors. Mug, hot or cold, save. All right, how many do we have left? Because I said I was going to end the stream at 8.30 and it's 8.45. All right, I want to do a few more. Got 70, I want to get to 75, so I just need to do three more and I will be at 75. And then we will call it an adieu, especially since the... Internet's being so wonky again. <laughs> you got that right, Cameron. I I still wanna I still wanna be back out there. I really do. It is so gorgeous out there. So gorgeous. Mug set. Ceramic. Original, personalized, new. I clicked on original. There we go. Vintage, yes. All right. One down, two to go. Oh, another nappy. What's it going to be listed under? Oh, it's listed under the right thing. Okay, maybe I'm just the one who messed all these up, but I find it hard to believe. 
that I would have done that on all of those. But maybe I did. I guess I'll stop griping about eBay on this. Original set includes, it's one piece. There is no set. Yes, it is vintage. Two down, one to go. Unless I can't count. <laughs> yeah, last one that I'm going to do on the stream. And I will continue working on this later, probably, but I'm going to have a break. <laughs> Hot and cold. Are you listed under mugs? You are listed under mugs. Thank you. Coffee mug. Not a custom bundle. Unisex adult. Mug. Ceramic and porcelain. Original. Personalized. No. Vintage. Yes. Save. Okie dokies. I think we are at 75 left to go. No, because something didn't take on that one. Let me fix that really fast. <laughs> I put the color in there. Okay, fine. I'll just do that. Hey, you too. I'm getting off here in a few seconds. Anyhow, Cameron, have a great weekend. Enjoy your time off. Okay, now we're at 75. So I'm going to call that a fairly productive hour and 45 minutes. Not as productive as I wanted it to be, but better than nothing. Better than nothing. Anyhow, I'm going to call it a night. For this. I'm sorry. I'm looking around because I keep feeling like I'm forgetting something. And I thank you for showing up. Uh, Cameron, Celestine. Oh, gosh darn it. Who else? Um, uh, no, Angie, Carter. And um, 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 oh, shoot. Carl. That was the other person I think that showed up. I appreciate everybody that showed up tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful evening and a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend? Labor Day weekend. Which is it? Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> I always get the two mixed up. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Enjoy the holiday. Be safe. Have fun. And we'll talk to you again next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.